Hello angels! This weekend is going to be the most powerful gateway of this whole entire year because we have a stellar alignment to Andromeda and another stellar alignment to the Grand Central Sun. We have this incredible solar new year that is here and of course we have this massive conjunction between Chiron and Mercury and Venus and the North Node. All of this is setting up for such incredible activations for the Starseed community and I'm so excited to break it all down in this video. Hello everyone, my name is Z Earthstar. I am an angelic starseed embodiment mentor and a grid and gatekeeper. I work with the earth energies and support this group of beings that deeply connect with the cosmic frequencies that are currently awakening the earth and we work with the earth directly with our energy body with our genetic template and this is all the things that we love and hold space for here at the earth star academy so this summer i'm facilitating a really exciting event in ireland over the 888 gateway this activation will require for 144 beings to be present um, on the ground, and of course many can participate virtually, but essentially what we want to be doing is activating a high level of dragon cosmic frequencies in our bodies to inaugurate a certain frequency mass in the earth. Now in order for us to do that, we are getting prepared this weekend with this massive alignment. We have an alignment between the earth, the sun, and the Andromeda galaxy in a straight line. This is what I call a stellar alignment. And we also have the stellar alignment between the earth, the sun, and the grand central sun, which is the heart of the shapely supercluster, which is the universal body that we're all a part of. And so this is an immaculate energy, which is going to provide the star seeds a lot of frequencies of activation of support. So how this works is when the earth, the sun, and a certain stellar body are in a straight line, we receive photons and activations from that stellar body. Now, Andromeda is super involved in the ascension of this universal creation because there is a group of beings that are entering into this the universal body through the high heavens of Andromeda, and these beings are called the Aurora. The Aurora are these original creation beings that come from the eternal realms. They're still in this original frequency of perfect love, perfect creation. They've never fallen, and so they're coming in to rehabilitate the consciousness units of this universal body. I have actually been facilitating these galactic activation portals for many years. I like to hold these containers so that we can receive these frequencies to the highest of our abilities. I have been communing with the earth and these cosmic energies myself for many, many years, and I always plan these ceremonies where I can really sit and receive the fullness of these energies. The more we pay attention and put our awareness to receiving these energies fully, the more we can allow them to really transform and activate our destiny in our life. So it's the same with this weekend. I'm actually organizing this four-day event to receive all of these energies. This is going to be the last time you're going to be able to join one of my containers because I am giving birth soon and then I'm going to be on maternity leave. So it's going to be probably another year before I open up another one of these activation containers. This event is really going to set the stage. It's going to initiate us into a three-month activation window because we really still have three months, a little bit over that, um, until the August event. Now, in our life, we're used to just going to events, going to conferences, but this is really going to be something special and something different. It is something that is so intentional. We're not just going there to party, even though we will have an amazing celebration party at the end. This is an event where we really all want to show up in our highest mastery. And the Guardians and our Starseed teams, they're really sharing this message that we have to prepare for this event. We have to show up in our highest activation and we really have this next three months to prepare for this. And so this weekend, this gateway is really receiving all of these avatar initiation codes so that we can step into our soul's mastery and really train like masters, like Jedis, like superheroes for the next month so we can all show up in our highest vibration to literally anchor an entirely new and higher timeline for the totality of the earth. That's 
sounds so incredible and so purposeful. And I'm so excited to be facilitating this event for all of us to come together. And the main focus right now is that we want to utilize all of this cosmic energy that is available to us so we can step into our mastery and this next higher level of our own personal destiny and our own personal mastery. So I've been following galactic astrology for over six years now. It is the tracking of the earth and the sun's alignment to actually galactic and cosmic bodies. Instead of tracking, you know, our local planets, we're tracking cosmic energies because we've now gotten scientific evidence that cosmic and galactic energies actually affect the biological frequencies of the earth and human consciousness. And so I have been experiencing this with my own body because that is how I explore the world is recognizing how when the earth and the sun are in alignment with certain cosmic bodies like the Pleiades and Arcturus and in our case Andromeda and the Grand Central Sun, these alignments create shifts in consciousness because light travels in a wave that looks like a straight line and so when we have these alignments we're basically receiving photons and consciousness units directly from that cosmic stellar body this weekend we are coming into alignment with andromeda which is so powerful for the guardian starseed mission because one of the highest guides and mentors on our mission actually are entering into this universe from a different universe this is the aurora family the aurora forces many of us have these guides and helpers from the aurora because they're carrying just such original pristine pure consciousness they come from a universal reality that has never fallen and so the aurora is still carrying the original pure intelligence of the eternal mother father god and they're coming into this universe to support in the rehabilitation of fallen consciousness so there are two kinds of galactic alignments of course twice a year the earth and the sun and certain bodies will come into alignment because sometimes the earth will be on the inside and other times the sun will be on the inside so in this case the earth and the sun, um, the sun's actually going to be in the middle of this alignment to Andromeda. We're going to be able to receive these photons and light particles literally directly, physically from the high heavens of Andromeda to connect with our aurora forces and receive their direct coaching and mentoring and teaching. We're going to be receiving this um, this weekend. Now, what is incredible is that We're also connected to the universal grand central sun, but it is the opposite alignment, meaning instead of the sun being in the middle, it's actually the earth being in the middle. So what that actually means is that we're nestled in a straight line in between Andromeda and the grand central sun. The grand central sun is kind of like the heart of this living universal body. And of course, through that, we're receiving this solar teachings of ascension, So alignment to the universal grand central sun is incredible because all of our highest soul aspects are going to be able to stream in from this highest solar consciousness of this universal body. What is incredible about this alignment particularly is that we are literally nestled in between Andromeda and the Grand Central Sun. So the alignment isn't happening exactly on the same days as like we're going to come into alignment with Andromeda and then we're going to spiral into this alignment with the Grand Central Sun. And what it's really going to feel like is even that we're going to be in the middle of this transmission from the aurora, from the Andromeda galaxy to the heart of the galactic central sun, elevating and upgrading and healing, restoring literally the heart and the consciousness of this universal body. And we're literally in the middle of that, which means we're receiving all of those energies. And this is literally the basis of our weekend together. We're really literally maximizing the frequencies by bringing in these avatar um, teachings from the aurora and the solar ascension path from the grand central sun and together we're going to receive these frequencies from the cosmos by bringing through these transmissions that are going to bring us into our own highest self connecting to our own highest avatar soul aspects that we're going to be able to more easily experience inside of our body because of this cosmic alignment that we're experiencing
This gateway is going to be especially powerful for those star seeds who particularly resonate with being an angelic or connecting to this pure frequency of divine love, unconditional love, unity, purity, innocence, this original intelligence that had never gone through any fall. And we are the grid restoration technicians. We are the healers, the empaths. We are here to bring in this frequency of love that it's very innocent and very pure. And at first, these beings might have a really hard time being on earth. We can't fathom that people hurt each other down here and deceive each other. It's ridiculous. But, you know, through that innocence, through that purity is also this immaculate power and wisdom that comes from being so close to the heart of Mother, Father, God, which is also where we come from, you know, beyond this universe, from the heart of the eternal reality so these are the frequencies that are really available for us to tune into this weekend. Now, moving into the astrology part of this, this is a relatively new thing that has come up in my life. I've never really been that attracted to earthly astrology, to be honest. I resonated with my tropical astrology chart, but like not that it you know, really lit me up. I wasn't so like passionate about it. And so I've never really studied astrology and ever followed astrology. There was just something about it that wasn't fully resonant for me until I discovered true sky, true sidereal astrology. Now, if you don't believe in this stuff, it's okay. This is just what lights me up because I've been following galactic astrology for so long, which is really the tracking of the real placements, where things are in the sky as they are. Because for me, when I track a galactic alignment, it's literally the light that is traveling through the sun that I will feel with my consciousness. And so, of course, it makes more sense for me to track the actual locations of the planets because I imagine the location of the planets is what is creating that energetic alchemy, that energetic impact on our human experience. So for me, tracking the actual locations of planets in the sky made all the sense to me. And when I started to do this, it blew my mind. It was like this whole new canvas opened up and now we're here in my first Starseed Astrology Report. So when I ran the chart for this weekend, the solar new year, April 20th, this gateway window, and when you're looking at this weekend's chart, you will see that nearly all of the placements are squished up in one region of the chart, and we have literally six stellar bodies in the sign of Pisces, not including the sun, so I guess seven placements, all in the sign of Pisces. Pisces is this primordial soup, is the cosmic womb, the cosmic waters. And so it is this cauldron that's really containing all of these planets and energies. And these energies are alchemizing together to tell a story. Venus rules the planet Taurus, which is the planet of love and the physical realm. And so when we're tuning into these energy, even though a lot of people connect Venus with the goddess, it is really an energy of divine union, is the energy of true love, and Mars is really not too far away. Venus and Mars were just conjunct recently, and they're still together in this primordial soup of Pisces with these other planets that are really weaving together these energies of transformation. And so this is a time when the wounding you know, Chiron bringing in this wounded healer and, and Mercury being the messenger. These two planets that are conjunct with Venus in the North Node is pointing us towards this healing of these woundings around love and divine union and the divine feminine and divine masculine, and particularly with a focus on the feminine aspect, um, shifting into a higher dimensional understanding of divine love. We have Mars that's actually very close to the planet Neptune and Neptune is about having a higher dream tapping into the dream world and these energies are allowing for us to tap into a higher consciousness around divine union around the feminine and the masculine around love and telling of a higher story communicating these energies in a higher way and transforming and healing through the woundings that might exist in these energies. So for me, the Chiron, Venus, Mercury, North Node conjunction in the sign of Pisces is truly all about rewriting our old stories, reformatting our outdated and false belief systems around divine union, around love, around beauty and the feminine and the physicality. 
And this again is just the most incredible alignment. You know, when I first created this event this weekend, I actually didn't know about this conjunction. I just knew that it had to be about love because I was really feeling these energies of divine union. Of course, it's about our inner union with Mother, Father, God. And that creates this activation, this Christ intelligence in our heart and our aura. And that's what allows for us to perform the planetary grid work. And so that is why I decided to, you know, facilitate this workshop around the ideas of divine union and inner union and correcting the architectures of these energies inside of our own consciousness and seeing this astrology chart just perfectly aligns with this intention is so incredibly beautiful. Um, this is really one of the most um, clarity that I've ever received in the preparation for any event, I guess, because now I'm tapped into this true sky astrology and I'm just so excited to share it with you guys. So again, the link is in the description. I really hope that you come. My beloved Shane is actually going to be joining with me uh, for these four days. We're going to be bringing through these cosmic energies, these av avatar trainings from Andromeda and the Grand Central Sun. He's been actually doing these practices of active, like activating the solarization principles inside of him. It's just a perfect alchemical container for everything that we're wanting to do. Okay, so there's a couple of more energies that I want to talk about here. Of course, the sun is moving from Pisces into Aries. This happens every year. This is why it's the solar new year. And so this is like a new year energy. 2024 is already so exciting. It's the dragon year. And now we're actually moving into the solar new year. This is such a new beginnings kind of energy. But it's also a super um, active energy. It's almost a shocking energy because we have Jupiter and Uranus in conjunction. Again, that means that they're basically laid on top of each other. In fact, over the weekend, they will come perfectly in conjunction, I think around the 20th, right? So they're kind of moving, you know, they move in different speeds and they're finally coming perfectly in conjunction. And together, they're going to move from Aries into Taurus. So Jupiter is this planet of luck, of charm, of abundance, of expansiveness, okay? And Uranus is the planet of surprises, but it's also the planet of a higher understanding. It's the planet of higher knowledge, higher wisdom. And so those two planets together, they have this active energy of possible shocking events, but really initiation events. Events that just change our life, events that invigorate this new higher understanding, right? Uranus, the higher science, metaphysical science, higher dimensional consciousness and higher understanding. And so we have that paired with Jupiter, this expansive energy. Jupiter is the planet of expansion, um, of luck, of this positivity. So we're expanding our consciousness, but is paired with this super positive energy and luck charm of Jupiter, where they come into conjunction in the sign of Aries, which is all about this pow, this new beginning, this active energy. So those planets together is going to create this shock wave. It's going to feel like shocking changes, <laughs> shocking changes to the schedule, which we literally experienced <laughs> with this event, right? We had this one schedule, it's been changing, it's impossible to keep it all straight with these energies that are literally active in the container. So it's actually a good thing. You know that the container is active when it is already alchemizing with these energies. But this is also the energies of major breakthroughs, right? We're talking about the expansive consciousness of Jupiter with this higher consciousness of Uranus moving into Taurus. So we're going to initiate this. When we start the event, we're still in the sign of Aries. But the breakthrough is going to ground us in this higher understanding through the sign of Taurus. These planets are going to be in Taurus for a while. So this is also about the initiation of our life's work. Because when we think about all this higher consciousness, like each and every one of us starseeds are here to bring through something from our home planet, from the higher dimensions, to ground into human civilization. So we're remembering these higher ideals and principles and higher civilizations where we had, you know, free energy and 
kind, benevolent financial systems and permaculture and ways that we live in union with the land, these higher consciousness, higher wisdom. And in order for us to fully bring that onto the planet, we have to get so grounded and realize that some of these projects are going to take like 20, 30, 50 years to fully ground and take place. And so this major Jupiter, Uranus, expansive, higher consciousness energy is being inaugurated, right? This is the destiny of our life. Our life purpose is initiating, but it's really just this moment where it's going to move into Taurus where they will stay for, I think, more than a decade, right? These planets move slowly through these signs that over the next decade, you know, we're grounding this higher intelligence. I think this can help us feel relieved that we really have a lot of time, but it's going to require that time for these higher intelligences to slowly materialize onto the earth. This is paired with the energy of Pluto moving into Capricorn. Now Pluto is in Capricorn. Later in the year, Pluto will go into retrograde and go back into Sagittarius for a little bit, and then it will come back into Capricorn. Of course, this is the energy. Um, Pluto is all about rebirth, is about death to the things that no longer work, to the things that must crumble so the new can be born. So is this planet of birth and um, death and rebirth. And moving into Capricorn, which is all about structures of society, right? The political system, the education system, the medical system, all of these structures of civilization that are no longer working. We call it the false matrix. Well, in order for civilization and society to function, we're still going to need those things, but they're going to have to go through an entirely different structure. And those structures are going to be created from this higher intelligence that we're bringing to the earth that we're now grounding through the energies of Taurus. We are bringing that higher intelligence so that when we begin to create, we are creating these new systems into the earth. And over the next 20 years, as these planets move through Taurus and move through Capricorn, we're going to start to see the new earth emerge from the creativity and the inspiration, the things that we make happen in our day-to-day -day life. And it all begins this weekend. It's crazy. I know I'm feeling this in my own life. My beloved is feeling this. It's like our major life work is finally finding that window where we're seeing our 10-year uh, magnum opus, right? Our grand work seeing that we're here to make this massive impact and that is really going to require for us to build it one brick at a time but we're beginning to see how that can be initiated as we're shifting out of Aries and into Taurus so this is my galactic astrology report for the solar new year of 2024 I hope that you enjoyed this video it's my first astrology report you guys let me know how I did I'm so excited for this weekend it is going to be absolutely life-changing we are preparing we're training for not only our group work in Ireland in August but also inaug inaugurating the rest of our life so Shane is bringing through these solarization teachings and Really, these activations of the divine masculine, the true king codes that has helped me so much in initiating and creating, you know, the business and the structures and the organization in my own life to succeed. And he is bringing through this entire download directly from the sun about the 64 gates of your destiny it has nothing to do with human design or the I Ching. It has to do with organizing everything in your human life to step into to mastery so often the teachings in the new age are so ungrounded because it's just about cosmic energy and activations and then we come back to our human life we're like now what do i just sit on the ground do i just meditate so shane is going to create this structure for us to have step-by-step -step action plan to walk our highest avatar aspects into our human body through our daily practice through how we show up in our relationships, through how we commit to our life's principles. And this is the, how the solar consciousness will see through all layers and levels of our body and our domain in our life and bring consciousness, bring organization, bring up leveling to every aspect of our life that sometimes we may not consider as spiritual. 
but are absolutely foundational. Um, and I will be sharing these Aurora avatar activations to heal our body and to inaugurate, you know, really, we are here to walk this path of avatar mastery. And we're here to show up in the world as beacons of grounded, pure, divine love. And there are things in our life and our body that keep us from being able to feel that safety and stability and being able to show up in the fullness of who we really are. And so these two full days of activations and the opening ceremony and a closing Q&A, these four days we're spending together over the solar new year under the auspices of all of these cosmic and solar system alignments. It is an absolutely no-brainer. Um, again, this is the last time you're going to be able to work with me in a activation healing medicine container. These have been absolutely life-changing for all the people that have joined my containers in the past, and I am just so over the moon to be sharing my beloved with you for the first time uh, for many of you as well. We are just intending to pull through the most incredible events so that we can all step into a period of rigorous training over the next three and a half months so we can all be prepared energetically, spiritually, uh, on a human level, in every single way to change the course of human history. And we all know that the planet needs that and we're here to do that work. And so let's get it, family. The links are in the description below. I will see you this weekend. I love you so much. Bye for now.